Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 38 of the Pokemon Cup Series. Today we're here at Homestead Miami Speedway for the running of the Pokemon Home 400. Starting on the pole for tonight's race will be the 34 of Zachary Delello, and as outside will be the number 9 of Chase Wisted. Row 2 will have Matthew Mdev in the 43 and Jonathan Fast in the 17. Row 3 will have Giovanni Castillo in the 18 and Cody Smart in the number 2. Row 4 has Steve Morgan in the 13 and Alexander Rowe in the 96. And rounding out your top 10 are Anthony Then in the 37 and Lauren Martinez in the double zero car. Last weekend it was at it was in last weekend was Atlanta and there was one by Kermika Jazzen, the former two-time champion looking to get back into a victory looking to get back to victory lane again here tonight like she did last weekend and she'll be starting 28th here in today's race. And now without further ado, let's go trackside for the command to fire up the engines. Cars will roll off the track momentarily. We are going to have a 26 lap race here at Homestead. It'll be, it'll be a lap 13 that'll reach the halfway point. And of course stage points awarded for those of you that um, don't already know. Stage winner halfway, halfway through the race will get um, the playoff point and 10 bonus points. Stage points. The other top 10 will go from 9 to 1. One car stalls. Daniel Price stalls before the start of the race. So... He's already on pit road before the green flag drops. You'll notice it's a different homestead than uh, normal, what we normally use. It's an up-to-date homestead uh, from the 2018 season, I believe. No, it's from, I think, the 2017 season because the 78 is still present in this one. But anyway, the green flag flies here wonder way at homestead. Here they in first lap, it looks like Delello's gonna lead lap one. Better avoid the wall there. The wall's gonna be pretty tough to avoid here in the final corner. Almost a three wide battle, and Chase Wisted just took second spot away on the high line. Somehow on that high line was able to get through to get that second spot. Gonna give this homestead a try here. And here we go, look at Wisted getting the run in the, on the high line, trying to shake off the 43. That 9 car is trying to catch that 34, and the 31 just, and the 51 I should say, I'm sorry, 51 came off pit road. Happy to see the 51 off pit road and he'll be able to race, but it'll be a couple laps down. Look at Wisted. Ooh, look at the run he got up high. Look at that run. He's so close to the wall that we better be very careful not to hit that wall. He hopes that that high line's going to open up. Otherwise, he might have to resort to the bottom lane. That bottom lane's not the preferred lane in turns three and four, but he's going to try. Ooh, he's shaking him off a little bit there. Here comes Wisted. Can he get the run on the high line? Delello might outbreak him here. This is for the lead. Doesn't have the draft. Delello's trying to hang on to that lead on lap four. There's a crash behind them. They're crashing. Are they going to race back to the line? It looks like they will race back to the line. Oh man, this is getting tight for the lead now. The level's been trying to shake off the 17 and the 9 car. Let's see if the 17 will get a, will get the second spot away. Ooh, two's in the wall. Not not so great. That 9 car barely escaped from the wall. He might try to get second, and now there's another crash behind them. Oh, my goodness. Another crash behind him. There's the caution flag once again. First, Oh, no, first time we've had the caution tonight, but we've had two crashes on lap 6. 
Let's look at the crash that they got racing back. Look at the 96 in the wall on Alexander Rowe. Gets spun. I believe the 38 of Eli Bright was the one that turned him. And let's look back at another incident. I think Jackson Nantel was involved in that incident. Let's see what happened here. Here's the wreck here, the 15, Van Tracy Battle. He got contact with the 77 of Anthony Lopez. Maxwell Smore, Toby Smith, Nantel were involved in the crash. And that, that's what brought out the yellow flag. Somehow, Zdalella was able to hang on over Wisted. Even though Wisted was right behind him, he was approaching real quick. Man, that was a battle. And, the, and they're going to be pitting under caution. And apparently they have the 17 ahead. He should not be ahead, believe it or not. I mean, it's so weird. Wow. Anyway, here we go. The battle for the lead is going to be on pit road. So this will be fun. Everybody's mixed up where they shouldn't be. The Lelo should be the leader, but I wonder if that'll matter. Uh, coming off pit road So the so they're gonna be um, pitting right now. Let's see who comes out first off pit road one cars out A few more cars come out two comes out 17 comes out. It's gonna be a race off pit road It looks like it's Delello That gets the pit gets off first Cody smart looked like he beat out Jonathan fast to the line off pit road Oh no, wait a minute. Cody Smart beat him out off pit road. Wow. It was the two car that beat him off pit road. What a fast stop. That's a pretty fast stop. Daniel Price two laps down, but everybody else is still in the race. Weird. Anyway, back to the green. And already he's got a battle for the lead. Look at Anthony then. He just shot from fifth place to the lead. Oh, I missed it. I missed that battle, man. Anthony then just all of a sudden took the lead. Can he hang on to it? And we know delello has been so tough up high. He's going to try again. He's in the wall. He scrapes the wall. He's way too close. Still in the wall. He's going to lose ground. And he's dropping. And the 37 cleared to take the lead. He went from 5th to the lead on one lap. Man, I missed it. I cannot believe I skipped over that. I am so sorry for that. Ugh, sometimes it goes real fast and I just can't catch it in time. Thirty sevens in front and Cody Smart trying to get that 17 of Jonathan Fast for second. We all know that high line has been the best line to be at this track, but if they're too, too confident in that high line, they could hit the wall and lose momentum. It's high risk, high reward, that high line here at Homestead. 17 going to try again. Two car, look at the, look at that. He got a better run on the bottom, actually. He actually got a much better run up low. He's going to try to clear him for a second. Trying to use turn one and two. He might even try to get the 37 car. Look at the run. Look at the run. Here he comes. Cody Smart. He's coming. They're side by side. We know the high line's been the best line. Two car might not need it. Here comes then. He's trying to fight back up high. Let's see if the two can force him in the wall. And the two car got the lead. 11, 12 to go. We have 12 laps to go. Oh, Chase Wisted. Look at him going low. Then has been trying to fight back up high. The two got a little loose. That two car got loose on the exit, and that's going to allow the 37 to retake the lead. Look at the 17. He's trying up high, trying to get a better line. A little bit on the wall. He's still trying to get him, though. Oh, it looked like that 17 was going to get that 37 up high. That would have been a surprise move. My goodness, Homestead with a lot of grooves at this track. This is amazing. This is what racing should be a, should be on almost every track. 
Wow, this is amazing. We are seeing amazing racing here at the brand new Homestead Miami. Well, it's not really new. It's from 2017. I thought um, 2017 or I think 2016, but still, it's up. It's the latest Homestead. It's probably the best one we've had in year in um in a lot of seasons. Ten laps to go. Anthony then hangs on to the lead. Cody Smart briefly had the lead. Then he got then he couldn't block that high line and the 37 came out of nowhere to take the lead. Here comes the two car again. He's gonna try on the high line again. Oh, he's smacking it hard. He's been trying so hard to get him up on the high line. He's losing the momentum. If he hits that wall too much, he might lose the momentum and the position. So he's got to be careful when running on that high line. Coming to eight laps to go. Anthony then in the lead. Running neutral, here comes Smart again, trying to get him on the high line again, near the wall. Now he's been, now he's trying the crossover move into turn one. Here it comes, can he make it work? He doesn't have the edge, he doesn't have the edge, then I car chase Wisted, you see here, he's been trying the high line to turns one and two. He's been trying to get that s two car, and it has not worked. Anthony then is still leading. Seven laps remain at Homestead, Miami, and the 37 is in front over the 12 over the two. Anthony then was one of last season's championship four contenders. He's trying to win and get himself back in the playoffs for another shot at that title. He's been trying to hang on for dear life over the two car. Man, that two car has been really trying to get that lead. Just seven more laps around. Uh, no, it's six more laps around. I'm sorry. Six laps to go at Homestead. And look who's, and look who's in the picture now. Cassandra Kirker. She won here last season at this track. On her way to a four-win season last season, the Cup Series, and a championship four appearance. She won the Daytona 500 earlier this season, looking to get her second win of the year. A lot, a lot is on the line here with five laps to go. We've had two big crashes, and that brought out their only caution of the race. We'll see what happens within the next five laps. Very competitive race going on here. And now the eight car is trying her best to get the two. That two has been dominant up high as much as that 37. Oh, two's in the wall. Stuck in the wall a little bit. Might be a chance for the eight to clear. Four to go. And Kirker clears. Smart. She's in second. And she's trying to catch a 37 napping. Here we go. Side by side for the lead. We know how... Strong the high line has been in three and four though. Here we go. Kirker still not giving up. Only three more laps to go to get the lead. Here we go. Turns one and two might be an important ones. 37's been strong there. And he will continue to be strong in the corner, but the eight cars hanging on. Still side by side. Here she comes again. Gonna try again. 37's been tough. But the 8 car, she's won here last season. So she knows the grooves very well. Two more laps to go. 37 has been trying to hang on. That 8 car has been coming very quickly. 37 finally clears the 8, and he only has a lap and a half from the win. Here we go, white flag next time by Anthony then, trying to hang on for the race win at Homestead. Here's the white flag coming out with one lap to go for the 37 car. Kirker's got one chance, and she's going to try to use it. Here she comes, down low, 
final corner, two turns left. She might try to pass her. I mean him. Three and four, last chance. Here she comes, trying to bump and run. Into the final corners. 37, first on the brakes, and he's going to come off the final turn, and he's going to win here at Homestead, Miami. Anthony then with the win at Homestead. A very close battle. And the eight car, Cassandra Kirker, she was right behind him. And it was a crazy one. But Anthony then somehow was able to block her and get the win. 37 car, Anthony then has won again. And now he has a chance to return to the championship four and this time maybe win the title. We'll have to wait and see though. But here are the rest of the field. Delello dropped to 39th. I don't know what happened to him, but I guess there was a last lap um, crash to the finish, and he dropped to 39th. But nobody retired from this race, and we had a handful of cars finish a lap down. So if this race had been a couple more laps, it would have been a fuel mileage race. But we hope you enjoyed Homestead Miami anyway. It was a fun one at this particular new and unique version of Homestead. And next weekend, we will, we will be heading over to Texas Motor Speedway. So until next time, we will see you at Texas. Take care, everyone.